Good morning, everybody. Um, so for Advent, we are going to go through each week and read the uh, the morning psalm um, as we uh, wait for Christ coming. Uh, I am using the morning psalms uh, that come from the daily lectionary that can be found on the PCUSA.org website. Um, and I believe that they use the NRSV for their translation. So today's morning psalm is Psalm 145. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and God's compassion is over all that has been made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power, to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The, Lord's up, the Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living, living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him and to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all who fear him and also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and all flesh will bless God's holy name forever and ever. I think the part that stands out to me about this psalm this morning is uh, starting there in verse 4, one generation shall laud your works um, to another. It doesn't say the old people are going to tell the young people about God or uh, while well, they just sit and listen, but instead that all of the generations will talk to one another about what God has done and all will listen. They'll declare the acts, and then we should meditate on those things. So today, hear what others are saying about God, and, and you, too, share your experiences of God's love today. Uh, laud God's works to somebody, and listen to them as they tell you about where God is or has been. Uh, and then let us celebrate and sing aloud of God's righteousness. Let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, we give you thanks for this day that you have blessed us with. And we pray that you help us to see where you are working. And let us share in those visions with one another. May we laud you today as we wait for your coming. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ, your, our Lord, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we pray that prayer Christ taught us together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.